In this video, let's see the quotient rule. Quotient rule means, unlike the product rule, this time the two differentiable functions will not be multiplied, rather they will be divided. That means, if u and v are given to me as two differentiable functions, then if I have to calculate the differentiation of their division, that means of the quotient, what is the formula? It is nothing but u dash v minus u v dash whole upon v square. That means the first function in the numerator say it is u, the denominator function if it is v, this formula would apply. Let me tell you in regard to d by dx of n by d, where n is the numerator and d is the denominator, it is nothing but n dash d minus n d dash whole upon d square, that means the denominator square. Now let's see a numerical problem wherein things becomes more clear, although you have done it already in your class 11th, d by dx, say I have of x square upon e raised to the power x, it can be anything, let me take this example. Now it is what? The answer would be given by u dash v, that means d by dx of u, u dash multiplied by v minus u, u means the first term into v dash whole upon v square. Now let me put equal to in alignment with the upon sign, that becomes better. Now we have x squares differentiation, you know the formula of differentiation of x raised to the power n, d by dx of x raised to the power n. This we already started, it is n x raised to the power n minus 1, n x raised to the power n minus 1. By the same formula, if I tell you to differentiate x square, that means it will be nothing but 2 x n x raised to the power 2 minus 1 which is 2 x. This you already did in your class 11th, right? So the answer directly I am writing is 2 x multiplied by e raised to the power x minus x square multiplied by differentiation of e raised to the power x which is e raised to the power x only. In the denominator it is nothing but e raised to the power x square which is e raised to the power 2x. Let me write the answer here finally. What you can do is you can take certain things common. In the numerator you see we have e raised to the power x in both the terms. Let's take it common. Also one term has x, the other has x square, let's take x common. So it is e raised to the power x into x. The numerator has what other terms? 2 minus x, that's it, 2 minus x. And in the denominator you have e raised to the power x whole square, that means e raised to the power x multiplied by e raised to the power x. e raised to the power x with e raised to the power x gets cancelled. So the answer is x, 2 minus x upon e raised to the power x. So this is one numerical problem suggesting the usage of product rule. Let's see another numerical problem. I say I have this time d by dx of anything can be there say cos x upon x cube. So cos x upon x cube earlier we had x square upon e raised to the power x. Let's not write it in an elaborate manner. Let's quickly solve it in two steps. So it is u dash v, u dash means if this is u, this is v, it has to be u dash v, u dash v. That means u dash means numerators differentiation, so it is minus sin x multiplied by v minus u v dash, u is cos x, v dash is differentiation of x cube by the similar formula, same formula it has to be 3x square upon v square, u dash v minus u v dash upon v square, v square is x cube square. So it is x cube multiplied by x cube. So it has to be x raised to the power 6. In the numerator, see certain things can come out to be common, minus sign if you take common, x square if you take common, inside you have sin x plus 3x, denominator is x cube multiplied by x cube. See if certain things cancels, x square cancels with this. So the final answer is what? Let's write it here. Minus sin x plus 3x upon x 
cube into x which is x raised to the power 4. So that is your answer. So basically in this video we saw the quotient rule. The quotient rule suggests that if two differentiable functions are given and they are divided how to go about solving their differentiation.